Hey, I'm Katie Wawa and today I'm going to be unboxing the Flying Vinyl April 2018 box and talking about some of my first impressions of this month's artist. It's been a while since I made a flying vinyl video. I think that my most recent one was March 2017, but I still get these boxes every single month and I always look forward to discovering new artists as well as revisiting old favorites like the Amazons and Our Girl. So when this month's box arrived last week, I thought it was about time that I revisited these unboxing videos. I've spoken about how the service works in a bit more depth in some of my previous videos, but basically flying vinyl is a subscription service where every month they send you a box of five seven inch records. Usually these are singles but they have occasionally included a mini EP. The selection is mainly indie alternative music so if that's your genre then this is perfect. What I really like about the service is that all of the records that they send each month have been exclusively pressed for flying vinyl. This means that not only are you getting some pretty rare pressings, but you're also actively supporting new music on vinyl through your subscription. Some of these bands are unsigned or have never been pressed on vinyl before, so that's a pretty cool experience as a listener to be kind of involved in that process. So without further ado, let's get into the box. The first thing that we've got is the flying vinyl zine slash booklet. I'm not quite sure what they call it, but I like to think of it as a zine. And this is actually issue 35, which, wow. That's a lot of issues. So this month, the issue features some updates on the Flying Vinyl Festival 3. These festivals always look amazing and they feature various bands that have been in all the different Flying Vinyl boxes. I haven't actually managed to go to one yet, but I feel like they would make a fantastic vlog. The next page is the It's All Happening page and this gives updates on various artists that have featured in the boxes previously, as well as upcoming artists for the next few months. This page is something that I love so much about Flying Vinyl. It's the page that makes this whole thing feel like a movement. There are bands that feature in really early boxes and you get to see their progress and you start to feel this kind of sense of pride almost like they're your children that you discovered through Flying Vinyl that like now they're going on to have these big album releases. So this month they're talking about Magic Gang who featured in one of the early Flying Vinyl boxes and whose debut album has been doing really well. I actually managed to pick up a signed copy from Resident, so let me just grab that and I'll show you. Um, Magic Gang, where are ya? So here's the Magic Gang self-titled debut. It's really good. If you haven't picked it up yet, if you haven't had a listen, have a listen. It's well good. And then the rest of this booklet is basically a listener's guide to each of the records in the box. They also give you a bit of bio and background on each of the artists, as well as where you can see them live next. So, are you ready for the records? Yeah, you are. You are. Go on. The first single this month is from Island, who are a London-based four-piece. They featured in a previous Flying Vinyl box and have also just released their debut LP, Feels Like Air, from which both of these tracks are taken. The record is pressed on a gorgeous silver vinyl with Ride on the A side backed with The Day I Die on the B side. Ride has a nice chilled indie groove. Feels as if you're floating up above the clouds and Flying Vinyl describe it as featuring dreamy guitar tones. B-side The Day I Die has a more visceral urgency to it, coming from those raw vocals and the domination by the bass and beats in the mix. The second record comes from Chloe Black, an Australian artist who reminds me a lot of Born to Die era Lana Del Rey, both in her style and in her use of trap and hip hop in her music. The record has been pressed on coloured vinyl, this time it's perfectly clear. There's always at least one coloured pressing in each flying vinyl box, although lately I've noticed that there's often two, so that's always a nice surprise. The A-side, Good Times, is heavy with production. I really want to see this live or like hear it in a club because I feel like it's missing some of that live atmosphere when I'm just listening to it at home. It's crying out to be heard in a live atmosphere. Although it does still work in this format, like I just want to hear it live now. I totally fell in love with the B-side waterbed. I'd actually recommend listening to this track first as I think it's a little bit more accessible than Good Times. It's slightly slower and almost haunting, but it will get right in your head. I have 
to admit though, I was surprised to find this record in a flying vinyl box. Like don't get me wrong, Chloe Black is excellent, like I'm really glad that I got this. But I don't think that Black's music could really be classified as part of the indie genre. Her sound is definitely alternative, so maybe that's the link that they're making, but I'm not sure that it quite fits within the general flying vinyl genre. Maybe that's something that they're trying to expand in their boxes, I'm not really sure. But I'd be really interested to hear what you think. If you've had a listen to Chloe Black, do you, would you classify her as like alternative? I know that there's a big movement of alternative R&B at the moment, so maybe she's falling into or hip hop or R&B. I don't know. I'm really interested to hear what you think though, so please do let me know in the comments. Record number three comes from Team Picture, a six piece from Leeds who have released a number of singles so far and will also be hitting the festivals this summer. I really love how each side of this single features different artwork for each track. This single does feel like a double A side and I think that the tracks are equally strong. Team Picture lead with Little Secret on the A side. It's quiet, humble rock with an understated sincerity. Whispery vocals are buried beneath the soundscape of synths and drums. In terms of genre, I think it falls pretty squarely within shoegaze, and I could also easily see this featuring on an indie movie soundtrack. Little Secret is backed with Lifehack, Team Picture's latest single. It has a proper 80s opening, and it's a proper banger. In Flying Vinyl's words, it features grungier riffs, riotous vocals, and heavier bass. Fourth in the box is Jerry Williams, a singer-songwriter from Portsmouth who follows in the British indie pop footsteps of artists like Lily Allen and Kate Nash. The record's A-side is Grab Life, Williams' latest single. It's an upbeat track that oozes positivity through its witty observational lyrics. B-side Babe has a slower, mellow, acoustic sound to it, with a touch of gentle melancholy. Williams sings in her English accent, which is seriously lovely to hear as an English person, just to hear that unapologetic English accent. I don't know, it just always makes me proud, like when Lily Allen does it, when Jamie T does it, when Alex Turner does it. It's just always like hearing the accent in there. It's nice. There's also a sweetness to her voice that juxtaposes with some of the images in her lyrics. Like in Grab Life, there's a lyric about eating chips by the river while wishing you were thinner. And she sings it in such a sweet, cute way that it just adds this really interesting contrast. The final record this month is from London-based duo Tusker, an indie psychedelic band not to be confused with the Finnish Metal Festival, which I know you were all about to do. As soon as I started spinning this single, I knew I was going to love it. I've been obsessed with Post Animal's new album, so Tusker are exactly my mood right now. A-side God Knows Why blends psych rock with synth pop, creating a sound that transforms constantly throughout the track, and finishes with this feeling almost like you're floating. Ambrosia on the B-side is slower, dripping. Flying Vinyl describe it as lined with mellower surf and synth sounds. So if you need to take a moment to chill, or you're just looking for a bit of escapism this summer, you might want to check out Tusker. And that's the lot. Five fab. Sorry, I've been watching the new Queer Eye, so I think it's affected my vocabulary. What I mean is five excellent records for April, and they're fab, sue me. April has been a great month for flying vinyl, but I feel like I just always expect it to be good nowadays, so gotta keep that bar pretty high. My favourite this month though is Jerry Williams. Just absolutely fallen in love with her music, with her positivity, with the whole vibe of it, and her Grab Life song is so catchy. I'm really looking forward to hearing more from her, and I need to find out if she's playing live in Brighton soon, because like, I would go see her, definitely. I've made a playlist of as many of these tracks that I could find uploaded to YouTube by the bands and artists themselves. There'll be a link to that in the end card at the end of the video. So if you want to have a little listen to some of these tracks, if your interest is piqued, then you can click through to that playlist in the end card. And once you have had a listen, or if you're already familiar with these bands and artists, please do let me know what you think of them in the comments. I'd really love to hear, as always. I feel like I learned so much more about artists that I talk about, and I 
always really love reading everyone's comments. And in live streaming news, I am going to be doing a live stream on Sunday the 6th of May at 8pm British summer time. So at the time of upload, that's this Sunday, I'll put a link to the live stream in the description so you can see what time it will be at in your time zone. We'll be catching up on some of these artists and some new music in general. So if there is anything that you would like to see featured in that Spotify playlist, then please do let me know in the comments below as well. Or you can also contact me on Twitter or Instagram. As always, it'll be like a bit of a listening party, a bit of a general chat. So if there's anything that you think that I absolutely have to listen to that you haven't heard me talk about or you don't know for sure, do feel free to request that. Tell me why you love it. And then I'll go through the comments and put together a playlist. Oh, and if you're not already and you would like to be, then please do click subscribe. It really helps me in terms of getting access to various resources and hopefully it helps you to keep track of my videos. You can also turn on that notification bell if you want to receive alerts whenever I upload a new video or if I go live. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.